e-commerce is on the rise. However, because everybody's using the same Shopify templates, most e-commerce websites just look the same. On this video, we're going to talk about how to break away from the normal templates and make sure that your e-commerce website stands out. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to Flux. My name is Ron Segal and welcome back to the channel where we're dissecting web design freelance, how to make a living as a web designer. And today we're now in 2020, the year where because of lots of lockdowns, e-commerce is on the rise and so many new brands are starting to get an approach directly to consumers instead of having to sell through supermarkets. So we have so much new e-commerce websites and most of them as I've said in the intro are using Shopify but when you want your brand to create some kind of a unique special connection and stand out in the marketplace then you need to rethink how you're building your e-commerce website and I want to dissect two websites and explore two ideas that I think you should really pay attention to when you're designing your next e-commerce website. So the thing is with most websites, because they're using templates, most product page are just standard and most product catalog are standard. And this is boring. They cannot tell a story this way. You cannot show how your product is different from other products. If all you see is just the packaging and then a product page with a list of, you know, ingredients or something like this. Let's take a look at some examples. So this is the website of Yulele. It's a website for, I guess, revolutionary Africans food. So the first way is to kind of explore the catalog and by scrolling, you kind of move left to right. So this is, to begin with, it's kind of playful, right? And then let's pick one to dissect. So we're, let's pick this blue one, then we're moving into the product page. Now what we have here is, first of all, a very kind of clear, you see the price, you can click to buy. But when we're starting to scroll, then we have this kind of a clear kind of storytelling, what you're getting inside, a lot of images. And while we have these things, the price and the buy button always sticking with us. However, we can kind of have a more story in here, right? So what do you, what do you notice, right? So we have kind of a unique layout right now we got to explore some more products but we have a unique layout right already breaks it down gives you more much more place and focus on telling a story and together with that you know we have really great art direction of putting the product in context how it's going to be used and giving you a little bit of a a, a demo of the experience now another one is for this chocolate bar when you're landing on it, you're dropping into kind of a very weird actually layout where at the top you're getting this um, this video. We kind of share how the chocolate is being made, where it's coming from, and it gives you kind of a little bit more insight about the company and their values are. Now, when you start actually scrolling down, now again we have kind of a scrolling experience of exploring the the different bars that they're selling. So again, not a boring, you know, see them in the grid. Each one, they're giving you a little bit of context with, you know, seeing the, the ingredients flying around and the color. So you can get to decide which one you want to explore. And when you're clicking it, you know, you're actually opening it up and then you discover it, right? So it stays with you. And again, you feel like in a kind of in a continuous continuous experience and you know we can explore this and we we can we have more place to tell the story and how it's different even though we're we have to share all the kind of nutrition and all the other things and at the end you add it to the box and then you can move into the next one so the things that i want you to pay attention to are two very important things the first one is art direction you really have to invest in how you present the the product itself whether it is you know taking a photo of it very clean and, and allowing for interaction because you've kind of dissected all the different aspects of the product or you're taking photos of the the product in context you can't really just like put in products on a white background anymore this is so boring people are fed up with it you need to share a little bit more context about the product and the art direction has so much effect on it the second thing is 
by breaking down the traditional layout, it gives you much more space for storytelling. And by storytelling, you can show how you're different and you can create the bond with the users and convince them that your product is a great fit for them. So pay attention to these two things, how you can storytell by breaking out of the traditional layout and great, creating great art direction by taking specific photos of your product, either in context or by breaking them down so you'll be able to use interactions to kind of show the opening experience and what's inside the package. I hope this was helpful for you. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.